Uh, I, I am. Whatever, 6.34, <laughs> whatever o'clock it is. We have one guest, Wade, did you wanna say anything before we get started? I remember that, uh, that, um, all right. Uh, and I guess if, if Jesse shows up, we can come back to guests. Um, let's move on to our city council liaison report since our city council liaisons here. Um, you're going to be very disappointed because I don't have anything to report. We haven't had a meeting in, in a while. Um, nothing, nothing big. Uh, oh, I do have a, a an opportunity. Um, so the new owners of Time Travelers Brewery um, would be interested in talking to you guys about uh, maybe becoming part of the um, rotating art. Mike has been trying to get in touch with them. Okay. Um, well, hey, I'm glad that I'm glad that they're talking to you because I just reached out um, to one of the, I believe, four owners via Facebook and we became friends, but uh, I didn't really get a response directly to my question about whether or not they're gonna entertain. I, I, is Riley also serving down there? I understand no. that they're sl they're slammed and they're not it's, really ready to talk about that kind of stuff yet. Yeah, no, my uh, my son and my daughter are both working there as servers and cool, we've, spent, cool. we've spent a bit of time there and I did talk to uh, the main two people that run the day-to-day -day, uh, are Lonzo and Becca. Yeah, Lonzo is uh, who I spoke with. And, but they are very, very busy right now with the grand opening just happening. So, but they uh, they would be interested interested in talking to you guys about being part of the, like I said, the rotating art well, display. Next week, and then also um, the possibility of events like live music, stuff like that. They are definitely interested in doing stuff. So, awesome. okay, cool. Um, do you think that you could send Mike? Info for Lonzo? I, um, yeah, I can. Get well, it. and you know what? I can go into. Uh, I had talked about taking the boys in there this weekend or later in the week and just sort of uh, introducing myself and, and starting the whole conversation in person. So, absolutely. Um, He's very personable. You'll, cool. you'll like him a lot. Great. Thank you. Excellent. Um, uh, Lonzo, I think his last name might be. Taggett and then uh Becca is uh Brewster. Um yeah, um yeah, great people. And then Julie, Justin, Raina, and Frank are also part owners. They're the six owners of that establishment. Well. Um okay. Did everyone get a chance to look over the December minutes? Yes. The guests in attendance, um, Tom's last name is Bickle with a B, as in boy. Uh, is Tom there also? No, uh, uh, no. for the minutes, so the, the minutes. corrections for the minutes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Last name spelt wrong. It, it's D, B as in boy, not D. Any other corrections or do we have a real skimming? Um, on the second page, we got kind of a dangling partnering up with Reliance Connects for the upcoming for upcoming coloring contest events and also parks and rec for the delete four. Ah, since that. Yep, thought isn't complete. Wasn't it for the Parks and Rec for some sort of um, scavenger hunt thing? Is that what the Parks and Rec thing was? Do you remember, Michael? 
I, bl I believe that's correct. The scavenger okay. hunt. I'm sorry. Let's go about for the scavenger hunt. I didn't remember off the top of my head. I sure didn't. <laughs> Much better now. Much better so now. glad you're feeling better, Buffy. Much better now. The rest of it looks good to me. Do you move to approve? I, I move to approve the minutes. <laughs> I will second. We have a move to approve and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Uh, review of the financial statement. There is very little. Oh, it's down here. Um, Sadie, do you know why the very last thing on here is not in parentheses? We get paid for that. <laughs> everyone, thank yous for everyone. <laughs> and then I signed one more um request so we still have a decent balance um i don't really think there's much else does anyone have any questions or comments um for recording sake uh the financial oh. statement it remains the same yes i think so well, the thank you gifts. We added the thank you gifts for prior members, but that's the only thing added. And then there's one more thing coming, but it yeah, is on next, on next month's, but there's nothing unusual or out of sorts. Hmm? Oh, excellent. Yeah, excellent. All right. Uh, <laughs> You now have access to the mail. Is there any correspondence in it? I did not check. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I tried so hard. I'm so glad that you were able to get in there. Uh, okay. Um, otherwise, the only other mail or correspondence are the applications that we've received and we'll, we'll talk about those further down the list. Uh, review of current, recent, upcoming events. Um, one page December was definitely an intimate event, uh, but it was fun. We sat around in a circle um, and both Roseanne and Carmen were delightful. Uh, and that closed out 2022. That's all I have to say about that. Um, Mike, do you have an, are, do you think that we are going to have the event next week? Um. Yeah, is there any way that we can push it back a little ways? I just had dinner with my friend Erin, who wants to host, um, and she's flexible. She doesn't have anything else on the calendar right now, but I just want to make sure that we have that the timings. I, it would be a little bit easier to pull it off. Um, toward, on the nineteenth. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Thursday. I'm also trying to uh, take your notes from the one page report. Um, there weren't really any notes. It went well. You, that's all you have to say. It went well. Um, the 19th would be the third Thursday. And I am not aware of any conflicts, but I don't know. Um, it really just comes down to whether or not they can facilitate us uh, either at Time Travelers or at the Cosnero. Um, uh, and I do have the contact for the Cos. Okay. Um, do either of you see any issue with moving it to the 19th? Not with us, no. No, I think that's good. Gives us more time to promote it. So um, let's say we are going to shoot for the 19th at, at either Time Traveler or Kaz. Yeah. And both Deborah and I have access to Canva. Mike, so we can okay. make those little flashy social media squares 
um, if you get us the info when you have it. Okay, cool. You ready for me to move on? Um, I am. I'm sorry. I'm always no, no, no. One. I'm always one uh, topic uh, behind or trailing you. So no, that's I'm totally making, fine. Making the adjustments to um, that. Um, So for February, one page, um, I know that Ant Farm sent out, uh, I had sent a message that I did not hear back on, and then they sent out a newsletter saying they were pushing the opening out because of some more remodels needed at Harmony for ADA um, and some other things. So I will try again to get through to Ant Farm. Um, we do have one confirmed reader so far for February. That's Justin Hawking, and he was going to be um, he was going to be a November reader, I think, and couldn't do it. And so he's gonna he's gonna read for us in February. And I have yet to hear back from the folks that I've reached out to uh, for the second reader. But I have a couple options, so we'll see. And I may have just totally imagined that you were going to do the painting class or not? Did I? It was discussed that I was going to take it over from Heidi, but she never sent me any information. Okay. I think that she might have sent the the old Gmail, the stuff to the old Gmail. So I will look and get that to you. Okay. Um, and you said the featured artist is Justin who? Hawking, H-O-C-K-I-N-G. Yeah. He wrote an award-winning memoir about skateboarding and no, about surfing and something else in New York City. Yeah, surfing and skateboarding in New York City. Uh, and I've reached out to Lydia Yuknovich. She was also um, potentially gonna be a reader in November, but couldn't do it. So I'm waiting to hear back from her. Mm -mm. No. Um, and you said that the ant farm owners are still in the middle of remodeling and they're yes. not going to be so, able to host in February. So I, it's going to be at the library. I don't actually, no, I didn't say any of that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm reading my, my old notes from December and then no, also no, writing fine. the new one. Like, uh, no, I don't know yet. They said that they, they sent a newsletter to everyone on their mailing list that said that their their remodel stuff was taking a little longer than expected. So I don't yet know what that means. I don't know okay. if they can do February or not, but I'm going to try again. And if not, um, we can we can try the library. We could also try Time Traveler um, to see if they want to do it. I don't know. So I did want to throw something out. Um, the Casadero has open mic every other Friday starting to oh. succeed. So let me see where that falls on the map in January. Um, is that something that we just want to kind of bring talent to and like piggyback and work with them to oh <laughs> co opt it once a month? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, is that super cheesy? Um, I, I mean, it's not cheesy if they're down, but um, I would guess we would want to like host or something, or so, or yeah, maybe the 13th and the 27th would be when they're doing it. So if you're trying to push it to the 19th, if I'm looking at the calendar, right, right. they're not having it the next day. So I was yeah. thinking, which right, would be right, yeah. right. Wouldn't want to do it the next day before they're already doing it. Um, does so. anybody have a con the name? I have the information. It's somewhere hey. in my, my Facebook. Um, well, because there was a woman that was doing all of the talent last year, but have they changed owners again since then? I don't think they've changed owners again. I think it's the same owner. I would just, okay. um, yeah, they're it's very King's responsive mom, right? to their Facebook page. Okay. What? It's whose mom? Oh, I didn't hear the Katie. I thought she said Sadie and I'm like, Sadie's right here. She would know. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not my mom. <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, I will look for that in the in the 
because I know Heidi sent a bunch of stuff. Um, art right there, art, and I'm forwarding it right now, although it'll probably take about 20 minutes. I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, thinking about it. Okay. Excellent. Um, and as far as that goes, the painting class, I know that Artsmith is really, really, would really love to partner with us. Okay. Well, I'll look at the stuff Heidi said. Yeah, then... Ellen just really loved uh, that art, art and music crawl and was very excited and has mentioned to me a couple of times since that she would love to. They know who I am every time I walk in, so. Yep, see? Uh, awesome. All right. Are we ready to move on to reviewing applications? Uh, I'm just two minutes behind you, so yes. <laughs> That's all right. We well, we need I... to. We still need to review. Uh, Tina and Deborah still need to look at Vincent's. I looked at Vincent's. So you looked at Vincent's. Good, okay. Good with Vincent's. Um, I am just going to double check. Did you get a chance to ask him, Mike? About uh, to attend about tonight? No, no, no. About about whether he would still be interested in reapplying in March. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, also, you know, full disclosure, we're kind of the same sort of dudes. He was like, "Hey, man, I'm having trouble finding the application for the art," you know, and I was like, "Uh." <laughs> I'll send you the link and then he hammered it out. So, um, you know, it's one of those, one of those things, artists, you know, how they are. I do. I do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cause artists. there's going to, there will be at least one opening in March. Um, okay. So it would be great to, yeah, I, that would be no stress for him. Um, with that in mind, I would like to propose that we recommend to city council, the first three applicants. They are the correct mix of city and school. So that would be Wade, Jesse, and Maddie, who is a graphic designer, which I was very excited about. <laughs> Yay. Um, what do you what do you all think? I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> awesome. All right. Oh, is it, is, is it, which is it, school or city? Um, Jesse Wade and who, I'm sorry? We so one of the one of the applic one of the seats is only for one year and one is for two. Is that right? Two or two are for two years, <clears throat> and one is for right. Uh, in the city of the city seats, one is for one year and one is for two years, and the school district is for two years. <clears throat> Not one year. It it expires in March of this year. Oh, so they would so, have oh, to reapply. Oh, the that they're oh, into oh, is yeah. only till March. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion is why don't we have Maddie do that one? Yeah, because she hasn't been to any meetings yeah. or anything like that. Can we can we make that executive decision? Yep, great. Yeah, I would uh, want to that will that be your to, to Jesse or right. Wade since they've that Jesse will be your recommendation to the council. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Okay. Um, and then can I send you like? Do you want like a email recommendation? Like, should we write a blurb or is this a good? This enough? is good. Thank you. Awesome. Check. Um, all right. So the next thing is to review the proposed logo. Um, did everyone get a chance to look at the proposed logo? Um, I did not yet. Marvin has COVID. So he was going to send two, three, and full color examples as well, but is currently trying to recover. So 
Um, uh, I'm just going to, I was looking for it to show you, Jerry. So what's blue would be potentially two and three or multiple colors. And so we have a black and white one, and then there would be one that you would have like a white background for it to show on dark green. But that's the best thing. Uh, so, uh, hmm? yeah, I think that, yeah, he's, so he's going to, the way the multiple colors are going to go, he will give us several options in terms of whether it's like a swirl, whether it's like paint splatters, however it is that we're going to cut the color through the letters. So that's basically the next step in the process. Um, what he wanted to make sure is that we're all okay with the basic look of it. Yes. Um, yeah, I think I think it's great. I, I kind of like the one with the um, blue background on the black hearts, and yeah. then also just sort of the standalone black one is nice because then you can, like you're saying, sort of change and or mix or even like overlay or overlap um different colors you know yeah do the, so what, the 80s font yeah i think that it, so that the one that's black and white will probably get just as a black and white option and then what you're talking about um in everywhere that you see blue in these mm -hmm. could be multiple colors so oh, right, that's right. what's coming next to us um yep. he's i mean he's got, i would like I'd like to see the cascade color scheme, the you know rainbow color scheme. All like essentially, we could sort of um, use it or design it as needed for seasonal yeah. events, holidays. Now you know federal yeah. holidays, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we'll so we will get that from him next. Um, I told him tentatively that I I hadn't heard anything really negative. <laughs> so I said he could probably consider the 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 basic uh, design good, but uh, I'll send him another email tonight and um and let him know that we will look forward to the next the next round. Awesome. Uh, any update on one percent for art? Um, was there anything I in the binders? Am, there actually was some stuff in the binders, <laughs> and I have consolidated a little bit of information um, just from what's on the uh, the city bylaw charter thing. And I found the policies and guidelines that were created for the selection committees. It kind of runs through all of the details. Mm -hmm. And I think you had most of it before. Yeah. I don't know if you'd seen this actual document. I think Emily found it. Yeah, so I can share this out later and we can work from that but i think we're at the point where we could start requesting for community committee members and then in the case of the heron we don't have to do an rfp as i understand it does that say we have to or we do not have to do an rfp we are completely within and so grounds to select to just select one but if it's using the funds, there has to be a committee. There has to be a committee, and that decision has to be approved by that committee. Us as a committee, as a right. commission, cannot approve Got on it. spending those okay. funds the way I understand it. Okay. Okay. So, in the case of the Heron, which we are planning on buying, we should, our next step should be to assemble that committee before we can officially make a purchase for that yeah um, do you have that handy who would need to be on it it's a um, it's a community member it's it, like somebody from the commission yeah community member somebody from city council is that right okay 
So I'm just wondering if we the, can have a better like next step. Arts Commission person is the chair, two art professionals, two community members, one representative of the department or area, which um, would be library or parks and rec. Um, I would hope it's Michelle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, and one member of the architect team if possible if not another arts professional all right yeah. so we would have michelle and deborah for sure mm -hmm. and then um we would need another commissioner right um you could be, i could do i could do, could do two chair roles, but not, yeah you could do chair but then um oh it's arts professionals mm -hmm. okay. all right yeah we can hit up uh, spiral gallery just yeah. do like a general do you want to do, do you want to find out about the architecture yep parts we can do that um and i mean if the committee is meeting after march 31st i could certainly be a committee member um if needed but okay all right so the next steps on one percent for art is to assemble the committee like Voltron. <laughs> Don't put that in the minutes. <laughs> okay. We come together I'm, like Voltron. I totally dated myself. <laughs> I think we're all right there with you. <laughs> Voltron, so old. Um, okay. Awesome. Uh, did everyone come with a fundraising idea? Okay, I just Googled one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, because I'm slacking. E, e for effort uh so this one sounds kind of cool yeah it, it's called the battle of the bands and you get local bands yeah. to enroll and they play towards the goal so the the cause would be the art commission mm -hmm. and people vote for the band who's going to win by while they submit a donation ah. so they kind of like submit their donation say i vote for this band and then you know maybe we have mm -hmm. something for the band that wins or whatever mm -hmm. or maybe they can just do our next open mic or right, you know right. post our next event. event what do you think about the feasibility of something like that mike um that's a, that sounds great for summertime vibes yep. and i don't i don't know how much of a battle i would instigate <laughs> but i like the idea a cage um, match i want a cage match <laughs> in phase three <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I mean, we we really should try and attack the utilization of that space and yeah. make sure that there's stuff popping off in there all summer to just kind of get it on people's radar because, you know, that's the whole point. Um, I think it's really going to sort of change the dynamic. And also there's, you know, some sort of, I'm already hearing the hoes and hums about breaking ground for the new development over there so i'd like to just sort of anchor that whole area as like a up and coming the one the one awesome my neighborhood house? um <clears throat> like it's across from campanella they just started breaking ground a couple days oh, ago oh oh i okay. thought that was an apartment building that is but i mean that's okay. like that whole area is going to be developed you know what i mean so so I'd, I'd love it if people were like the wonderful thing about this neighborhood is it's walking distance to wade creek where they have events all the time for this you know that right, kind of vibe. right um well and so maybe uh maybe you could run that by whoever comes to the open mic and see if they cool. would be in, you know and start like assembling a list um of folks who might be interested in participating in such a thing were we to have one in the summer i think it's a cool idea too battle of the bands um, yeah, that, and, yeah, and and really to just feature local artists too. So yeah. and uh, and Emily and I uh, still have kind of a um, conversation going on. She's willing to sort of give me her, uh, you know, rolodex of people that she's worked with and who have participated uh, in the past. So sort of as as the summer approaches, that's my intention. And you know, just when we get out there and start doing stuff. Yeah. Um, Excellent. Uh, well, and the rule was you have to be willing to do it. So, 
<laughs> I'm just saying. Mike you, would help you, me, right? You Mike? may have forgotten that. Oh, oh, uh, you're, I'm sorry. I'm still, I'm still, I'm writing notes on Tina's battle with bands idea right now. Yeah, um, that's no, that's exactly it. That's right. It is Tina's idea, Tina's idea of battle of the bands, and that means that Tina has volunteered to chair the battle she's of gonna the bands. She's going to wear leather. Event. She's she she's going to wear leather, and she's going <laughs> to just put a bunch of hairspray and get the bangs going up. <laughs> 80 um, style. I don't I want you to know, know like, if I if you can from... still find Aquanet, Mike. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, I can get you Aquanet. Um, <laughs> and I have a teasing home. You to, we will rock, rock it, girl. Uh, Tina Turner and Thunderdome while you are chairing the cage fight. Wait, there's a cage fight? No, I'm just making that up. Anyway, <laughs> battle. Uh, okay. Um, the one that I found that I am willing to do <laughs> is to fill out a rack art c3 grant for us um i will i will write that up is that your idea oh no <laughs> um yeah so i'll i'll go ahead and write that and then um there are others so um that's what i'll do if you want to write that down i'll yep. i will i'll do that regardless because they haven't actually um they haven't posted the spring deadline yet so I will plan on writing that um, for our 12 months of programming or whatever. Uh, can, I, can I also ask a very dumb question? RAC is an acronym, obviously. Yes, it's the Regional Arts, yeah, R-A-C-C. Thank you. Regional Arts and Culture Council. Regional Arts and Culture Council. Um, and the ART 3C grant, 3C is the one I'll be writing up whether I'm a commissioner or not, but I'll write it up for the, because I talked to them, this is the same one that I wrote up last year that almost, almost, almost made it, uh, except they didn't understand a couple of things. So it should have a better chance this year. Um, so I had an idea maybe, um, and I was just thinking maybe we could sort of uh, tag it onto the painting class they're talking about hosting at the Artsmith. Maybe we could have some of the pieces that are created down there or also additional other little pieces, paintings, I mean, even drawing sculptures uh, uh, donated and we could have a little silent auction at um, you know something on Broadway. Uh, that people pass by, maybe even we had them displayed at an event at Wade Creek, and then we did, you know, proceeds go to the Arts Commission and that kind of vibe. Right on. Um, and so just like, just like talking to the folks who come to the open mic, we could talk to the people who participate in the arts classes and ask if yeah. they want to mm -hmm. donate. Nice. Uh, was that your was that your one? Did um, you kind of did. Okay. Um, they are doing uh, drafts. Look, uh, first come, first serve. If you get your application in a week before, huh. they'll do a draft review. Oh, sweet. And I think I saw somewhere that potential deadlines in March. Yeah, like I did, opening yeah, this they, month and maybe right. In March. It's, all I saw was we will definitely post by January when the spring oh, deadline is. Yeah. That was all that I could find, but okay. So but that's uh, a draft be, in the week before. Yeah. That should be easy since I already have it. Um, it will actually require a little bit of fine tuning since now we're doing uh, art and music and literature, um, but that will actually probably be even better. Um, And because it was going to, so then the question I wanted to ask folks, the way they have it set up, it's like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, or 5,000, I believe. Uh, the questions get increasingly more complex <laughs> the more money you're asking for. And so since this is to support the 12 month events, um, I was gonna do either just one or $2,000. What do you think? To, um, they want it to be matched. So this would match whatever we would ask the city for in our budget request. 1,000, 2,000? Um, yeah, I mean. Like. 
If well, you need 50 cents, ask for a dollar, not 25. Right, <laughs> right. right. Um, we, uh, I don't know what we exactly asked for for, for one page um, because we were, it was like $80 for the writers and then I believe originally budgeted $50 for food, which we came in under. So that was each month. So, you know, it was around, it was close to $2,000. So um, it would have been a thousand and then a thousand from the city. I mean, if we were to, to do it that way, but. Okay, so the grant is for a specific event, not. It's for a. Um, right. Or series of events. Yeah, it's for, it depends. It There's. Cover. Right, it can cover a lot a of, stuff range of stuff because it's the three C's, which is like community. Uh, that's what I was hoping it would say somewhere. The categories include ongoing programs, business organization development, professional development, operating expenses, personal expenses, art or cultural event. So we're really looking at an art or cultural event ongoing program. Um, but it, it's you want something that can be easily defined in the application so they know exactly what they're funding, which is why one page was a really good single thing. Um, the art and music call would have been a good single thing. Um, the art fest that we want to do would be a good single thing. Um, and so they usually have multiple rounds. I mean, so the there will be one in March and then there will definitely be one more this year, complete round. So we could do it again for another event is what I'm trying to say. And do we I'm not saying well. Who spent on the art music call? I do not, but we haven't have the financials right here. Um, they're so quick tiny, man. who can read them? <laughs> I know, I see my. Um, and who's matching those funds? This, the, I'm sorry, I'm trying to report. So I think the I think she's saying that we should ask for a grant for like a specific event and then the city would match them in our budget, right? Gotcha. Well, so gotcha. yeah, yeah. So what we do is we will um because the grant is obviously not a sure thing. Um although yeah, it depends on when they would notify if we would know about the grant before we ask the city. And so we will be so what we write in the grant is that we will be asking for this much money. And this would match that. But okay. what could happen is if we don't get the grant, then we would have to ask for more from the city. And we would have then to be shooting for more fundraising to balance it up. Uh, when I wrote up the rack, I think it was in like December. So we hadn't, we hadn't had a one page event yet. So I was able to say, here's what we're proposing two writers each month and this much for food. And then, you know, the, some of it was in kind, right? Like the space is being donated and then we've got budget from the city. Like that's how I write up the, uh, the grant. Quick math, art and music call was $1,143 and change which is totally reasonable for mm -hmm. that kind of event. I would say definitely 2000, maybe even, maybe even the 3000 because the different types of events that we're going to have are going to have materials cost. Well, and so you're talking more about supporting the organization of the EAAC instead of, no, or you mean, I'm oh, for the 12 months Specifically thing? like, if we were going to have a so program, yeah. If we spent like a thousand dollars on the art and music call, we can expect to spend at least that much on the art fest, maybe a little bit more, depending on if we have more musicians or right. We whatnot. wanted to do a little bit more. I know. Yeah. So like maybe we can. Well, the silent auction theoretically. I mean, it's just in terms of having the tent and having the stuff and just dealing with it and moving art around. I don't think there would be actual like expense i think we just get stuff in but it would be part of the overall operating and if we had cost. to get a tent or whatever so 1500 do you think for the art fest uh well we are going to have our planning session in march when we come up with those actual dollar amounts um i would say at least 1500 but um maybe more because i mean i know that summer celebration was like 
25 grand. <laughs> Obviously, we are not doing summer celebrations, but I think we should be working more towards a, a, a bigger event, even if it's not in the event. So, so if we're thinking 1500 for the one event, so or more, mm -hmm. then maybe. Although if you ask them for two thousand, the city has to match it. Then we do we have to spend four grand on it. So, well, yeah. The finer points of I I I assume they probably have a post mortem report where you account for everything. Um, and so there are I mean that is usually it's usually not a problem spending money. It's usually the least of our problem went with an event like that. So we could probably spend, you know, whatever we asked for. The question would be, um, and we don't have a deadline yet, so we can talk about this at next month's meeting too, because we should have a deadline by then. Um, whether we want to potentially write up two different applications, one for the festival and one for the 12 month thing to see if one is accepted, you know, over the other. It's uh, That's what I'm thinking. You should do one for the the or open mic thing and then one for the fest right or one to support the whole the eaac and say these are the two main events these are the two main pieces of programming that we are hoping to support with this grant i don't know much about grant writing so i don't know which one would be the better right me neither i know that part of the issue part of the issue with the last application um they liked everything except um that Emily and I were trying to make clear how this was going to, how the one page was going to be new because the poetry um, uh, event group that Emily had started was just for poets and writer's night, which Stephen Allred used to do was a one night a year. And so we were trying to say like, this is better because it's all genres and it's every month. And, but they were like, we need to know more about why these other events failed. And when I was talking to her on the phone, I was like, oh, no, no, they didn't fail. They just were very limited in scope. And she's like, oh, which is so frustrating because it's like if they had just understood that, we would have gotten a grant. But now I know for next time, obviously, just to make that clearer. So, uh, what I would do for this round is say, we did one page and had, you know, and, and saw community support, <laughs> um, got a positive, caught positive response. And so, and what we're trying to do now is incorporate more of uh, the more arts. types of art yeah. in our event. Right, right, something like that. So I would know how to do the one for the 12 month programming that has yet to be conclusively renamed. Um, I don't know if we threw a bunch of stuff in there, if that makes it harder for them to make a decision or not. But the thing is, if we get money to support that, then other money that we get in um, from the city and from fundraising can go toward the art fest, not have to go to them. Uh, <laughs> Estacada Creates, is that what we would say? Estacada? The cool thing, if we did something like Estacada Creates, then it could be Estacada Creates Art, Estacada Creates Music, Estacada Creates Lit. I had that in my notes, but I didn't know if, any, if we'd actually decided it. Yeah, I like that. I don't, know if we did. I don't think so. Do you want to just decide it? I, <laughs> I wanted to have a name. <laughs> that thing, that thing we're going to do each month. Okay. <laughs> we'll just keep calling it that thing we're going to do each month, and we'll decide... Uh, next month on a real name oh no you know what because we need to advertise the thing happening in two weeks estacated creates all those in favor aye aye <laughs> sweet we're getting so much done you guys okay estacated creates and that is good because we can do music art and lit um and so the music we are talking about mostly open mics, but not exclusively because we might do that songwriting thing. Um, the art will be classes mainly and the lit will be a uh, one page style without ever using the term one page. 
Don't put one page in the notes. I didn't. I put as to create. It's as to create. It creates in parentheses, uh, in front in quotation marks. Great, great. All right. Uh, we are. Did everyone sign? Everyone who is here sign the commissioner cards. I believe so. Except for me on that one. Okay, I can do that. Check. Uh, we do have a community update, which is that the, what's the date? Uh, it's that, oh, it's in here somewhere. What's up, Estacada? What's up, what's up, yes. what's up, Estacada? <laughs> it's in the evening this time. At the library. At the library. And it With is on. Mr. <laughs> Mustard, Mr. Mustard in the library with a candlestick. We'll be representing the Arts Commission. Deborah has volunteered. Yes. Is that what you said that you could do it? I didn't say that. But oh, yeah, then I, I did not. I did 100% did not just volunteer you. Definitely. I'm going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the 16th. Maybe? So we would. Uh, so the point is, we were thinking we should have a table. What do you guys, what do y'all think? That we should have a table at this one since it is in the evening and we actually could attend. The 15th from 5.30 to 7. 5.30 to 7. Thank, uh, you, thank you so much. Um, of this month? February. 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 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. The day after Valentine's. Okay. Um, I, uh, well, <laughs> that's why I check. Hold on. I have nothing on the 15th. So um, I will volunteer to do that with you. Cool. Yeah, maybe we could just have like, you know, like churches do where they just have the basket out and it's like, give us money, please. We need it. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, well, um, well, what would be very cool would be to have the calendar of our Estacada Creates stuff. Yep. Um, and are there up. buttons still? I mean, I know the boys came out with buttons from the last event this summer. We can make new buttons. We have we have the we have the technology to make more buttons. And <laughs> if we're in the library, we can make buttons. Oh yeah, that okay. could be what okay. we do. Oh at the table. right, yeah. People could right. make the buttons on the table. <laughs> and what days were we doing the open mic thing? The second Thursday of the month, usually, except for January. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I that is on the list um, that is not I mean that is a late add to the agenda because I totally forgot is that I mentioned it earlier we agreed to do a planning session in March. Uh, is anyone here prepared to tell me a Saturday in March that works? I know there's at least probably two that would be terrible right based on whenever spring break is. Uh, yes, it does. And That's ideally before evening. the very end of the month, because we do want to do it before we have open seats. Before? March 4th. Uh, what um, do you think? That would work for me. I'm taking my boys to uh, Minnesota for my parents' 50th anniversary on Saint, the St. Saint Patrick's Day weekend. Um, but that's the four. That's two weeks after the fourth. That's two weeks. Seven right. yep. slash eighteen. Yep. Um, yep. March fourth works for me. Does March fourth work for you? Yep. Sadie, do you know if there's anything? Awesome. You guys, we've made so many decisions. March fourth planning we session. We documented them. Awesome. Um, yeah, and so the the goals of that are going to be specifically to get a better handle on our summer event and our budget request. I don't know who's going to bring us lunch. I don't know time. Oh, but by then there'll be Ant Farm maybe. Okay. On time traveler. Or time traveler. Yep. Sadie, when is the budget request stuff goes in in April and that's when the report to city council is? Uh, reports to city council are in April. Um, your budget requests to me are due by April 10th. Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Any other community updates? Commissions? Not that I know of. 
Any arts opportunities? I totally should have, I think, well, I think that thing's passed. I know that there's gonna be a local arts show that Spiral Gallery is sponsoring uh, because Kalaya gave me a flyer to try to submit to it, but I think I missed the deadline. I have a question. So did the, um, the idea of wrapping the boxes, the electrical boxes, did that just die? Yes, I don't remember why though. Uh, you are all too early for that. Oh. Uh, why did that die? I don't remember. Oh, you know, because uh, what Carl was running into was that the people who wanted a box, the people who wanted to sponsor it wanted to pick the art and basically make it into little like toolbooks. And so he said, not interested. If they're gonna require like, you know, uh, veto uh, design input, whatever, <laughs> on the box in front of their place. Like, that's not what this is about. So he just dropped it. Um, it would be cool to revisit because I think that, you know, we could, we could certainly present it from the beginning as we're going to just ask artists to design something and then, and then, you know, you can participate in picking, <laughs> but you don't get to, you don't get to design. Uh, but yeah, I think okay. I think the final gallery thing. Oh, this is open reception for January featured show. Our annual student and community art show will celebrate with an opening reception Friday, January 6th, starting at 6 p.m. That's this Friday. That is we should go to that. I did. I totally yeah. missed the deadline. <laughs> yep. But you know what? I didn't miss the deadline for another show, and I find out tomorrow if I'm in it. So that will be an art update. But I got nothing right now. At 6 p.m.? Yep. Yeah, that's when the reception is. That's spiral. Student and community art show. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, I'm to go back for just a second. Oh, yes, please. To fundraising, I do have, I started working on a draft, the donation letter again, mm -hmm. and I found a super cool old thing in one of the binders that was just like a layout of donation levels Ooh. that I just thought was really cool because it kind of focused on businesses and like what we do for the business in exchange for that sponsorship or that donation. So I thought that was really nice. And just to kind of, yeah, we can pass that around. Here it is, Mike. He's not even on screen. <laughs> I'm, I have the headphones in. <laughs> well, I was just flashing a piece of paper at the camera, so. Very funny, I'm farsighted. Uh, nice. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, it is. It's, it's tears, right? You get your name listed, you get your logo on a poster, you get, yeah, that's pretty cool. And so these were summer celebrations. And so I wonder if they could be just EAAC supporters. We'd have to find out if we could, I mean, could we include logos you think in the, uh, the new water bill format? as like a supporter of EAAC? Well, because this is saying business name listed in Estacada's July water bill. Oh, okay. Right. In addition to this, that we could have people sign up to like, I want to sponsor Estacada Creates music event. Right, right. Or I want to sponsor the series of Estacada Creates literary events. Uh -huh. um, and then we could make like the calendar and show and who's just show like who's sponsoring what yeah, events cool. and for individual events, you know, this event is sponsored by so-and-so. Mm -hmm. So we can kind of break it down a little bit. See, so you had a very good here. idea that I totally did not even steal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I found like two other grants as well, <laughs> including one. Um, mine was kind of a cop out speaking, of just for the record, because I had already done that one last week. <laughs> but you're not the only slide. Specific grant for um, percent for art projects. 
that oh. really likes to do that kind of work mm -hmm. out of Eugene. So mm -hmm. Very we cool. definitely can apply for that one. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Good stuff. So yeah, we should make something like that um, that we can either put on the put on our page on the city or something somewhere that says how you can how you can support. EAIC and our events. Um, Sadie, when is the uh, when is the city council meeting going to happen that will decide our fate? No, the commissioners. Oh, Monday. Uh, this Monday? Yeah. Yep. Sweet. All right, we will know. We will know on Monday. Um, who, who completes us. Uh, that's all I've got. If it, nobody else has an update on arts, I would like to call this meeting closed or whatever it is. Um, and we can we can talk af after, because, great. So 729. I mean, <laughs> I was just saying, did you get that mic? We're, we're calling uh, the meeting. I I did. I, I got you on my Zoom connection. My Google template is trying to connect. So I will um, record that. I have everything else um, adequately recorded. There was no guest news tonight either. No. Uh, and we adjourned and we adjourned at 729 p.m. Yep. Sounds great. Awesome. Enjoy the water park, sir. <laughs> Don't forget the uh, hot tub. That's the best part. It's it's fully functional. It's not really about enjoyment, but the kids will hopefully not be able to speak their own names tomorrow and we'll sleep the whole way home. So that's the idea. <laughs> are you Mike, are you gonna be at the DEI meeting Monday? Yes, I am. All right. Cool. We'll see you then. Sounds good, man. Uh yeah, thanks for coming, you guys. And uh, do you need anything else from me? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, cool. Go enjoy your vacation. Uh, we're going to go now. Now we're going to the arcade. Oh, have fun. <laughs> have fun. Thanks, you guys. Bye. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.